Now let's talk about something called electronic configuration and you kind of deduce that it has to to do with electrons and all that stuff. So you're right, it has to do with electrons and it's basically the location of electrons inside the atom. Because electrons are not placed in a random matter. There are there is an order in which electrons are located. So let's take a look. Inside the atoms, there are several energy levels. There is the first level, there is the second level, the third level, and so on and so forth. Okay? Now, inside the first level, the maximum number of electrons is two electrons so the maximum number of electrons the first level has is two electrons the second level has a maximum of eight electrons the third level has a maximum of 18 electrons and it keeps on increasing as the level increases the number of electrons it occupies increases also so let's take an example let's take sodium and sodium we said has an atomic number of 11 and that means it has 11 electrons and we want to know how many electrons occupy each energy level so let's see now we label first second third fourth we don't know if we're gonna get into the fourth level but we're filling from the first level till we reach the end now let's see, we have 11 electrons, so the first level has a maximum of 2, so now we fill 2 electrons, we have 9 left. Now the second level has 8 electrons, so that means in total we fill 10 electrons, now we have one more electron left, and that will be in the third energy level. So we don't have a fourth energy level for sodium. So sodium has electrons in the first level, the second level, and the third level. Now let's take another example which is calcium and calcium is 20. So calcium has 20 electrons. Let's see. We have the first level, the second level, the third level and a fourth level and so on. We don't know what level we're going to reach. Now let's see. We said that the first level has two electrons. The second level has eight electrons. Now we filled 10 now we have 10 more. The third level we said has 18. Now we want 10 more, so we just add 10 in the third level. So that means we have a total of 20 electrons. Now we have our element. Let's take a final example. Well, let's take an easy one, lithium. And lithium has an atomic number of 3. Let's see. We have a first level, second level, a second level, a third level, and so on. Now let's see, the first level occupies two electrons. Now we have one more electron left, so that will be in the second energy level. So here, now we have our total of three electrons. So lithium has electrons in the first and the second energy level. Now, one thing to mention is that, now let's take a look, in sodium for example, the last energy level is the third energy level, and that's the outermost electrons. These are the unstable electrons. So in case of a metal, for example, like sodium, sodium tends to form positive ions sodium plus you never find sodium minus you only find sodium plus why is that because sodium loses its outermost electrons easily and that's the case here in the third energy level it loses the electron it has so that's that for this video I hope this video have clear things about electronic configuration you guys since you are British system students you're not required to know everything about electronic configuration that's the only part you need to know that atoms have different energy levels and in those levels there are electrons occupied so 
Good luck with electronic configuration. Keep on practicing. Pick elements from the periodic table and hopefully you'll be experts in electronic configuration. So thanks for watching.